It's October 2022 and Adobe decided to release a new version of Bridge and Photoshop. They added a really great feature that I want to share with you. I have a wedding here that I recently photographed and I have a shot that I wanted to clean up after I brought it and got the initial uh, white balance and coloration done with all of our, our presets. And this is the shot right here that has some additional things that I want to remove. There's a credenza, an exit sign, and some of these objects over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this shot up into Photoshop. And in the past, the way that I would handle this is I would try grabbing these tools either with the um, rectangular marquee tool or the lasso tool. Um, but now what I'm going to use is this new way to remove these objects. And this function is called the delete and fill selection. So I'll give you a little preview of it here too. First thing you're going to want to do is go into uh, actually your object selection tool. So normally it's the magic wand tool here by default and instead you're going to go to the object selection tool. Then I'm going to grab the objects that I want to remove. I could just grab one at a time and in the past what I might want to do is hit the delete key and, or shift F5 and do content aware removal which it does a pretty good job of removing it. In this case it does a very good job of it. Go back in my history, remove that, step out. What I'm gonna do now is because I used this object selection tool, I can use a keyboard shortcut, shift and delete. And what that's going to do is it's gonna be a new command here in the history called delete and fill selection. And what it's doing is it's deleting the objects and then filling it back in. Works very similarly to in order to produce that finished product. Where the difference starts to come is that when I select multiple objects or objects that have uh, kind of bleeding clipping paths, so like things that glow a little bit here, what I can do is I can try and remove those using my uh, content aware fill tool here and I'm going to just fill it in content aware. And the problem you're gonna see as soon as I remove that, that uh, uh, selection is that it leaves a little bit of this bleed line behind here. And I could go ahead and clean that up, but I'm not going to. Instead, what I'm going to do is, because I use that object selection, I'm going to hold Shift and Delete. And now it's going to be a little bit more intelligent about removing those objects. Really, really clean object removal. I really like it. Now, it does work better on clean clipping paths. I can do it on other objects up here. So you're going to see, I'm going to try and select this exit sign. This is pretty complicated because it's got a lot of different lines and even some geometry here that's going to have to try and grow but I'm gonna to try to remove that exit sign and wow, it does a pretty good job. And I'm gonna try and clean that up just a little bit. And I'm gonna try and clean up this space over here just a little bit. And I could work on that to kind of remove those and make those lines a little bit straighter. There's a little bit more here too. Overall, it did a really good job of removing that. Now, if I tried to do that with my content aware tool, it's gonna to leave a lot of bleed behind. There's a lot more of the object residue that's kind of left behind. And especially true for exit signs, green and red exit signs that are illuminated because they glow. It does not do a good job of recognizing that color, but it does a great job with this new object selection tool. Make sure I get the right command. I'm gonna do shift delete and see how it does with that. Yeah, that's a little bit cleaner of a, I grabbed a little bit more area there for it to work on and it did even a cleaner removal of that. Not flawless, but boy, pretty good for on the aggregate for being able to quickly remove objects. Even goofy objects like this, this is the advantage of the object selection tool. You can go ahead and select onto that. It's going to mask around the object that it recognizes. I'm gonna hold the shift key here and I'm gonna grab just a little bit more to add into that selection. Still hit the shift and delete key. And again, you got a really nice clean removal. Now the removal can work as well. I'm gonna grab um, just another object here, just say this one, for example. I can use the lasso tool to just select around an area, but because I'm using the lasso tool, you no longer can hold that shift and delete key to get to that shift and uh, fill selection command. Instead, you're just going to go into the normal content aware tools in order to remove that selection. But if I wanted to still use delete and fill, I could right click on it and go down to delete and fill selection. A little more mouse clicking. There's no obvious keyboard shortcut for it, but I can use the lasso tool with that in order to remove that. So go ahead and give these new tools a try in Photoshop version 24. I'm always leery of new versions of Photoshop just because, especially in October. So I, I keep both versions loaded. I have version 2022 and 2023 loaded. This you can see right here is, is uh, Photoshop version 24. I'm sure there's going to be bugs. I'm sure there's going to be forums of people complaining, but this tool for me, wow, this is super worth it. This was definitely a good update. Give it a try, guys. Thanks so much.